One owner car guy, oneownercarguy.com. This is kind of a Chevy day, I guess. And the basic thing of this video is getting the most out of your car when you're selling it. When you're selling your car, you don't want to leave any money laying on the table. That's for sure. Get every damn penny you can. Stuff's getting rare. Later in life, you're not going to be able to replace it, and you're going to feel like, damn, I sold that too cheap. No matter what, you'll feel like that. Chevy day. And later on, I guarantee you, I'm going to feel like I sold this too cheap. It has a little bit of corrosionary issues in the fender, and I got new fenders in the back. Um, well, not new, but you get it. The guy just got these wheels all nice and painted and on here. Estate sale. Um, it's got a big old 8,500 pound worn winch. 85 or 10,000, I forget. I do forget. Whatever. It's a big winch. She's a big winch, I'll tell you that. So, nice truck. Great in the step side 4x4. Not only that, it's got a 396 in it. This video today, I'm doing wash jobs. And I'm just doing random washing. I've been hauling stuff on the trailer knocking it off a lot of it just right where it sets because i ain't got the help up here i need and even unloading a something like this take forever i got this at auction look at this a heat gun that i totally needed an electric fence charger up to 15 miles don't be coming in here at nighttime shock your butt and look at this this is just a whole stack of actual Mopar parts wheel bearings these things are 40 bucks online there's 20 of them in here and some that I'm gonna have a hard time probably oh no right on there but dink just get some kid in here that can read these little numbers and I'll be good so that kind of stuff just cool to get at auction and not only that I wish some of you were closer because some of the stuff I get look at this Nice little Ford or Chevy, um, double drill, double slotted wheels and tires, but I'm not really, I'm not including the tires. I'm not saying that you're getting tires here because you're really not. You're just getting these bitching little wheels. Man, if you was here, I'll give you all four wheels for $125. What What a deal. What you know, I'll give for $100, $100. Come and get them. These. Velocity, the 22s. Tires are kind of better than the other ones, but they ain't that good, man. They split in different places. Come and get these things out of here, man. 100 bucks. I just want them gone. But that ain't what we're doing here. I just doing some getting the most value out of your stuff. And I'll tell you what, when I put those tires up, I will be cleaning them up and even putting um, armor all stuff on them just to where I'm going to get the most out of them that I can. Um, I might not get 100. I'm going to start out at 150. But who knows? Doggy dogs. Another Chevy. I'm Chevy heavy. I'm doing the van box today, but I just thought I'd walk around this because this is the same kind of thing where it's been sitting for years, but watch this. You walk up to this and go like this. This is old paint, man. This will shine like there's no tomorrow. Plain and simple. Look at that. Now, I hope you can see that. And, oh, how could you not see that in the lens? This is just great. And when I sell this, I'm a little um, leery to get prices and stuff, look at this. Look, watch this. Because if I know how it looks, just a little, and you can see the wear through there, it's gonna have a nice patina soon. Um, you got little chips and stuff on it, but this hood actually has not got that crease yet. Pretty nice, it needs to be oiled up or it's gonna. Sold here originally, park service truck. My point about this is, do some work to your stuff. Don't just leave it sit in the field and sell it. You're going to put this thing online, get you on Craigslist, clean it up. Look at me now. All over. Okay, Blazer, like I said, I'm Chevy Heavy. And that's the deal. I usually don't have many trucks. Badass Ford truck. Very rare on the flare side. Uh, 5.8 liter. Cool stuff. Okay, so. I got to get stuff done up here. I'm going to get my sign painted here soon. Man, I'll tell you what, I climbed up there and did that all by hand it ain't professional but it was cheap enough it was cheap okay got the mercedes up here here's the truck we're doing like what five minutes into the freaking video something like that it's an old chevy i got it at the auction and it's got its obvious flaws and i'm gonna show you the obvious flaws but look at this this truck same thing it's got corrosion it's got stuff that's been repaired badly it's got rust holes in the side but I'll tell you what, the roof don't leak. 
If the roof don't leak and the creek don't rise, I'll sell my van box to you inside. I don't know, something like that. Dents and rust and it's just not what you'd expect me to be selling. But when I went to the auction, look at this. Brand new set of tires, buddy. And I don't know if you can see that, I'll show it to you this way. Brand new set of tires, buddy. Oh, they're nice, they're Coopers too. And I'll tell you this, look in here. It's just cool for somebody who needs to hold stuff. I'm gonna be selling it. And if you're interested, it's gonna go up when I do the detail. Look at this, I got this big old scroll cage blower motor, but it's a huge one. You could do the whole, yeah, I don't know. I don't even know what to say. A lot of squirrel cages. You can, you can cool down a big squirrel cage. Look at this, I even got a ladder, it comes with it. So, extra crease and I got two staple hammers. Never worth it. Something right there, there's extra stuff there. I got a scraper. But this is kind of cool right here. Oh, this thing's got a 1406 performer on it. That's worth something right there. More air nozzles and look at that. Bolts and sawzall blades, man. I need this stuff. Look at the size of them nails. Who knows when you need a big old nail like that? Said Julius Caesar. That's kind of a bad joke. It's just kind of a bad joke. Why would you? That's a bad joke. That's just not good. Will I cut it out? No. Over there! Woo hoo hoo! What do you want to drill? What size hole do you want, Bubba? Yeah, look at this. Tap and die? I think so. Punch set. That's amazing. That's just awesome. That's just I, I just, I enjoy getting stuff like this. Sandpaper! I mean, so much gra Oh, pocket it. So, and they pulled a lot of stuff out of here. Screw it. Screw it! And I'll tell you what. The thing runs. It runs good. I'm not even going to pump it once. I'm just going to go. Oh, man. And I haven't even started it today. You give it a start or two and it runs great. All right, a pump or two. Another squirrel cage motor with the blower on this one. So, hooked up, buddy. Auction stuff. I just got this. I went to this estate sale. Got a Harley Davidson in there. Going to be selling it, too. So, if you're interested in Harley. Camper shell. I'm telling you, it's just some stuff i got room up here so why not sell some other stuff on on the craigslist and stuff like a dog house i got a dog house got lily a bike we've been doing this stuff so let's look at the reason i'm, I'm making this video this is kind of a combo vlog combo vlog to where you're like getting the vlog and the making the most on your truck and i don't know if i can do this here i'm here to tell you no matter what it is i've seen more people that don't even clean out the inside of something etc etc it's a work truck and I'm not gonna do the same kind of detail that I normally would because of what's in the side and stuff. Somebody needs this van box, box van, or potato chip trucky thing, or cutaway, or whatever you wanna call it. It's not a step van, because it's not the side one. So, whatever it is, they need it for their business. It runs good. You can go up down the valley, you can go to the farmer's market every day and make money. This is a money-making machine, it's a tool, it's a piece of equipment, and they're supposed to be bitching and beautiful and luxurious like that. This is a tool, it's like a tractor. And it's got use on it. But it's got tires. The tires are worth half. I'm going to tell you what. Somebody wants this. You can come and get it from me. I'll take it. Before I do all this stuff, too, it's going to go up as I wash it. And it go up as I do this and that. And as I fix the power steering pump. Which is after you leak all the fluid out. But whatever. The price right now to you today. Oh, God. I even hate to say this. But I'm going to say it. $1,375 bucks plus $85 paperwork and shipping y'all the stinking stuff in the mail and all this stuff will be extra. Shipping the title back and forth. So around $1,400 bucks. I guarantee you in about a week, four days, it'll be about $1,600 because I'm going to have a couple things. And then I'm going to advertise it for $2,300. So whatever, get it now. Call me up. Get this thing. Whoa, 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 the drive line and the tires are worth more than that. Okay, so how would you make this thing worth more money? Especially when I just told you how low I'm going to ask. I'm not going to put much time in it. I'm going to scrub the tires and I am going to degrease and scrub the hell out of these trim rings. So pay attention to that. Maybe I'll take some before and afters and throw in here. Doing this is going to bring you so much, just washing it without a buff, will bring you so much color. Now I'll have yellow and green. Yellow and green makes, I don't know, kind of a light blue, <laughs> light green. Um, so yeah, I'm going to do the same thing back here, everywhere, everywhere getting cleaned up. And I'm going to tell you what. You're gonna notice a difference. It's gonna be crazy. 
um, I'll probably run some steel wool or something on these because making that pop is going to make it pop. Does that make any sense? If you make that pop, that'll pop. So, yeah, that. Um, I already did something under the hood. I'm not going to do much to this thing. And look at this. Watch this. I've already done this fender. Look at the difference. And I've done this side. Right down here. Look at this. Watch this. I got to redo. Kind of missed a spot there, didn't I? I did. Oh. Yeah, I'm going to touch that up a little bit. And you can't see when you're scrubbing so hard on this. Look at this. This is before. This is after. If you back it up, you can really tell the difference there. And you can really tell when the sun's on it because it's so damn shiny. So I'm going to do some stuff on this. And, you know, I'll probably do something unconventional with a truck like this. Which is, I might even just use steel wheel, steel wheel, steel wool on the wheel. Um, it's already got rust spots all over it. It's not going to hurt it. As long as you get the steel wool off. I wouldn't do it on that car or that car the same way. But, yeah, it's what it is. Work truck. So, talk to you in a minute. Cars for sale, man. I got cars for sale. But look at this Cadillac. It's just absolutely gorgeous. The Lexus. I'll make you a great deal on the Lexus. And my woman will get mad because she loves driving it. The Blazer. Should I give you a price on the Blazer? Take a look at that thing, man. I'm putting the video up soon. Um, it's going to go on my website. Before I list it and stuff, if you're interested, give me a call. I put some stuff on my Facebook. I'll take um, $2,850. Bucks. What a deal. Look at that. Step side and the other short bed. Get a hold. Get a hold of me for Chevys. I'm Chevy heavy. Okay, here we are. This is how it looks ahead of time. Good, good idea. I'm going to do it a couple different ways. Just fill the water. And go ahead, Lily. No, no, no. Just try. Go give me a rag quickly, please. Well, not good. All right, by the time I got the camera dried off, um, kids on the bike. So. I'm gonna show you what it does with just some soap and water. So, hello. So, with just some soap and water, and taking the time to do that, you can honestly get quite a bit off. And it will look a certain amount of good. It takes a lot longer to try and show this than it does just to do the job. But that ain't coming off that easy. And it would take too long to do. So, on a quickie, that's what you got. And up here, watch, I'm gonna put it that a bit. It'll come off kind of good. Hang on. Put a little uh, degreaser. I'll put a little steel wool to it. Uh, with the degreaser, this is a whole different thing. It's quick. You see it look a little rusty. It's just the steel wool was sitting out. But it's a lot easier getting these lines. And it takes a lot less scrubbing. That's for sure. And if there's any little rust spots like that, it takes it right off. But, you know, you have to use your own discretion. This will take a little bit of the paint off and everything. But, when you're done, you will have a much tighter looking wheel. Watch this. I see the difference. I'm gonna hit it all up a little bit more, but that stuff is still coming off. Came off that side. Okay, here I am. I got another wheel. You see some spots on it. And I'm not even gonna take the time to do anything but just do the steel wool because it's so much faster. And I'm using a soapy water and watch that. It takes it right off. There's still a chip there. 
and it's going to do the same thing again. It's chipped up. But it takes that top little surface right off. It makes it look great. And if you clean it up and get all the water and stuff off, it won't tarnish. So, there we go. I'm just going to go ahead and quit this and I'll show you everything after. And some more things I do to it. Well, that's the after, and I'll have plenty of people tell me that's the wrong way to do it. Everything else, that's what I'm doing. All right, I did this side a bit, and you can tell from the wheels we did the other night. They look a lot better. Now, I'm not making this thing perfect. I'm just going to make it decent. And better. You can see from the other side when I go over here. But the bottom half is very shiny. Not only that, look at the difference in the wheels huge difference okay I got all kinds of different things here that are neat to scrub wheels with I guess you'd say this one's one of the ones I make uh, this it's not a complicated process I've got a actual 3m score pad here and a regular old this is a little different got a brush got regular old soap and water got some wasps nest that I knocked out of there don't need them and I'm going to start my power washer up and let's get this going on. I should wear some plastic gloves. I didn't have them around for this video. So. And remember where you scrubbed and where you didn't. One of the biggest things here. We don't miss no area. I don't know where my camera overheated, but I know this. And right there, big difference in a nice looking wheel and tire now. I'll clip more in a while. Here, this gives you an idea of what it looked like. It's the only one left on it like this. Big difference, buddy. Big difference.